Hey, what's going on? My name is Rob Jr. and this is my channel, Creative Rob. Thanks for tuning in. And today I'm gonna be sharing with you a new painting I call Wicked. And before I start a painting, I like to sketch it out and procreate using my iPad and Apple Pencil. And that's what you're seeing right now. And again, joining me today is my uh, sidekick, Dean the Dog. Hey, buddy. Dean, up here. Up here. Come on. Come on. Good boy. This is Dean. Can you shake for me? Can you shake? High five? He's camera shy. He, he just won't do it. He'll probably do it later. Um, so after I sketch it out and procreate and get a design, I, um, I start sketching it out. And what I'm using is a 16 inch by 20 inch um, watercolor board by Canson. It's like five bucks. If you use your 40% off Hobby Lobby coupon, it's even cheaper. Um, all right, so after I sketch it out with a pencil, I move on to India ink and a bamboo brush. I like the, the bamboo brushes. Um, they're kind of kind of rough, and I like that um, effect. I will also use these right here and get some thinner lines. He's looking for a spot to lay down. That's his frisbee up there. He loves that thing. Dave, what are you doing? What are you doing? All right, now, um, now we're moving on to the watercolor. Uh, this is one of my favorite parts. Just add in some color, you know, I start with a light wash. Um, start adding in some shadows. This is a mixed media piece. It's kind of a new style I've been working on. It's rough. See, I like to do the drips and splatter paint on there. Um, but, you know, I start off using pencil and I use India ink, watercolor, sometimes gouache. Um, and then on top of that, I'll use oil pastel. This, this is the finished piece here. It's really cool. Uh, I felt like out of this series, um, this one really progressed a lot. And, um, I, I like where it's heading. So I, I'm excited to move on to the, to the next character or the next painting. So now um, I'm making these uh, squiggles in the background using a ballpoint pen. And uh, you know, I'm trying not to create a, uh, a pattern. It's supposed to be somewhat random. I mean, I know it's a, a squiggle pattern, but I don't want any repeating um, patterns. Now, on top of that, I, I'll use a watercolor pen. And when I'm um, done using that, I'm gonna use a spray, a spray bottle and spray it to create the uh, bleeding effect. Now I'm gonna let that dry naturally without the blow dryer for a little while. 
till it's almost dry, then I'll get the blow dryer because I don't want the uh, the water to bleed too too much because it will lose the, that effect what it looks like right there. It'll just start blending it uh, together too much. So that's so after it dries a little bit, that's when I use the blow dryer. There's uh, my other ones. They're, they're hard to see. The uh, glare is just reflecting off of them so much. I think about doing a doing one in this style of Charles Bukowski. That might be really cool. I'm going back in, darkening it up with the watercolors and, um, you know, trying to keep it rough. And a little bit of color to the background. Now, um, I have some music uh, in the background from an artist I met on Instagram and uh, he actually has some really awesome artwork. I, I'm really impressed with this guy. But he's also a musician and he offered uh, to, to let me use his uh, music in my background. And I'll leave some links to uh, his music and his art. His name is Matt Moore. Or his Instagram is at Matt J S M O O R E, and um, in the description of this video, I'll, I'll leave a link to his information, and um, so you can go check out his stuff. And thanks, Matt, for the music. I appreciate that. It's awesome stuff. All right, back to the painting. Um, this is where I am bringing out the oil pastels and I'm darkening up some of the lines. I'm adding highlights. Um, what's cool about the oil pastels is they just um, easily go over all of the watercolor and, and really pop out. Bringing back the India uh, ink darkening it up some more. Now I, I felt like the background was a little too light and it was popping out too much. I wanted it to the I wanted him to feel like he was in the same atmosphere as the background. Right now it, it's kind of a floating head, you know. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be darkening that up. I did add some um, a little bit of patterns uh, three lines um, repeating and, and vertical uh, horizon uh, pretty much like this that, that, that. I, I do that a lot in, in my artwork um, it, it reminds me of hier hieroglyphics it's kind of my version of hieroglyphics <laughs> All right, so here's where I'm going in the background, darkening it up, and um, just trying to make it feel like it's in the, the same atmosphere, the, the subject is in the same atmosphere as the background. Man, I had so much fun with this one. I felt like this was kind of a, a breakthrough um, piece for me. And I also use watercolor pencils to add some extra detail. Um, 
at the end of this video, I'm gonna um, give you some close-up views of this painting so you can see all the detail. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. Be sure to check out my Redbubble site um, and uh, check out some of Matt's music and his artwork. Uh, all right, guys, looks like I'm wrapping up here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't yet, uh, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe uh, so you can stay tuned so, to some more of my artwork and uh, that'd be uh, greatly appreciated. Alright guys, I hope you guys are staying safe during COVID and um, keep painting. Have fun.